My name's Shakira Aline and I'm a writer and musician. So I was contacted by Spin Up saying that they had an amazing opportunity to work with Woodkid and Vacheron Constantin at Abbey Road. My name is Woodkid. My real name is Johan Lemoine. I'm a film director and a musician. There's a whole education of music today that is being dictated by just the quantity of music that's being done. The backlash of this is that it creates a uniformity. It's even harder to be singular, but because it's harder, it's more rewarding. So Shakira, we're in Abbey Road studio now. Yeah. And you sent me this gorgeous song that I'm obsessed about. And I'm very confused because I'm here to give you advice, but I have more questions that I have <laughs> advice for you. About eight years ago, I jumped off a bridge. It's about the mixed emotions that comes with that, being super grateful to still be here, but then also the impact that that has. So I wrote it in like one sitting and it just felt so raw. I feel that there's something that can be done to like really get it to a finished product, but I didn't want to like spend time and time going over it because I didn't want to spoil it. So should we listen to it? Yes. Yeah. Somehow I'm breathing whilst I'm still bleeding. Shakira has an insane level of depth. I knew it when I heard the song the first time in the way she was singing and the way she produced the song. And I could feel there was a very strong meaning behind what she was saying and doing. A lot of it's personal, but then a lot of it's not. A lot of it is stuff that people can relate to. The reason I love to use like the deeper harmonies and the deeper voice is because it brings some anonymity to it. It's not necessarily in how you produce the voice that makes it egocentric, more about the elusive quality of the lyrics. I wonder how much production needs to be added on the voice sometimes when you want to be very intimate. Are you confident with your voice? No, not at all. So this is why, like I always say, I'm not a singer because I have the stories that I really want to tell and I'm really good with words, but my voice I'm not confident with. So you're a singer? <laughs> It's one thing about the modern, like, kind of power singers culture, which yeah. makes all the people that are really singing actually feel like they're not singers. I would love to hear your voice roll. Yeah. And I know it's very hard because I'm a person that's naturally not comfortable with my voice either. I don't think I'm a natural singer. So I have that lack of confidence about my voice. I always feel like I'm pitchy. But at the same time, I learned sometimes it's good to face it. Yeah. I don't think that's what will make people not identify to your song. Mm. This song is so personal, so it's very hard to come with an opinion on it as a producer. The one thing that I felt was that there was maybe a bit of camouflage behind the effects of the voice. I think it's nice sometimes to have moments of clarity. There's nothing more beautiful than accepting your voice. Young shack elusive, quite not stupid, couple word exclusive. Yes, I'm still moving and yes, I'm still growing. Sunshine smiles and my black skin's glowing. So, okay, so we have a raw vocal, which is gorgeous. You have a lot of power, you know that. Ah, uh, okay. It's the, <laughs> I'll take you it's, it. it's a lot of power that comes out Amazing. of it. Amazing. We talked about her sense of perfectionism, which is a battle that I know very well, which is the battle between rawness and authenticity that both need to coexist in a song. So I have a few songs made demos and I just left them alone. I want to show them to people, I want people to hear them, and I don't want like my perfectionism to take over. I think one of the big thing of your body of work will always be to challenge perfectionism versus rawness, because it's the, one is the enemy of the other. My experience at Abbey Road has been incredible. It was so amazing to meet Woodkid. He had such a genuine energy. It was just so nice to connect with him because he had quite a few words of wisdom, I'd say. The main thing I took away from the process is to just have confidence in myself and my abilities. I feel like today has been super helpful, yeah. like discussing the vocals, because it's something that I really shy away from. But it's the most important. Yeah. You shouldn't never forget about this. And there's something about the way music is being made today that is triggering all these little voices in a lot of singers' heads. Yeah. And it, sometimes it's good to hear that they're not just in your head. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I mean, you, you come with the song and I, I hear it and I'm like already obsessed by it. So there's no reason to not be confident about the vocals because you have all the tools. Uh, you have way more than a lot of people. Mm. Way, way more. I think it's the most difficult challenge as a singer, especially in a time where everything is very produced. She has a very noble voice. And I think it's, uh, it's very beautiful to hear and it'd be a waste to hide it behind tons of effects. 
forget about the little box that you have, which is a very interesting effect, but let's hear you. And we heard her. You just want to get out. 